Hello and welcome to the big picture. The issue of religious conversions is back in focus. About 10 to 15 years back, this issue had gripped the country. Now, with the attempted conversions of about 200 Muslims in Agra, the controversy over religious conversions is again being debated. While those who attempted to convert the Muslims in Agra have been proceeded against and the law will now take its course, the larger issue needs to be debated. While converting from one religion to another is something which has happened in this country for decades, if not centuries, the debate about whether these conversions were voluntary or forced has remained. We will today look at the issue of conversions and whether it affects social harmony and also whether conversion, conversion should be allowed at all or not. To discuss this, I have with me uh, on the phone line Professor Pushpesh Pant, uh, former, pro former professor at the JNU and a political analyst, Kamal Faruqi, former chairman, Delhi Minorities Commission, R. Balashanka, national convener of BJP's intellectual cell, John Dayal, senior journalist, and Munna Kumar Sharma, general secretary, Akhil Bhatiyam, Hindu Mahasabha. Welcome to all of you. Uh, Bala, the, this whole uh, issue has now again come back to focus. This was, you know, if you remember, about 10, 15 years back, we had, we had gone through the same debate, but again it is back, the same kind of thing. The, the people who are involved in it are supposed to be members or associations associated with the RSS. How do you look at this whole Agra thing first and then we'll come to the larger issue? No, in fact, uh, my feeling is uh, the opposition has no issue now. So they are creating these issues, you know, one after another. They are picking up issues so that to communalize politics in India. The BJP is totally concentrating on development activities. The government in the last six months has been very deliberately moving away from all religious agendas and it has been focusing on development. And we have been trying to bring economy back on the focus and also back on the rails. Development activities are taking place, investment is coming, sensex is booming and uh, inflation has come down. So there are a lot of positives for the government and there is nothing against the government. So Opposition is now every day, you know, today it is conversion. Yesterday it was something else. Before it was Sanskrit. So like that, issues are being taken up, frivolous issues. From somewhere they pick up and then they obstruct the house. So my feeling is that conversion is not an issue at all in this sense because conversion has been going on in this country. It's a debatable point whether we should allow conversion or not. Of course, my feeling is that we should have a law banning all conversions. So, there is no problem about So, you, you are saying that this is a, a non-issue is being made into an issue. Into a big issue to, Munna, to corner the government Munna and Kumar, also Munna to ji, communalize the issue. Munna Sharma ji, is a non-issue? Is it a non-issue? Conver conversions, Hindu, Muslims being converted to uh, Hinduism, Hindus being converted to oh, non-issue? In fact, uh, this is a non-issue because uh, people are... Uh, coming to their old religion, this is only a homecoming. This is not conversion. We are wrongly <coughs> saying that it is conversion, but actually these uh, incidents are homecoming of Hindus. Which voluntary are, homecoming? <coughs> yeah, yeah. Are they voluntary homecoming? All these incidents are voluntary homecoming. In Agra, the, the people who had been converted, who were sought to be converted, they have said that they didn't know that it, it was a conversion ceremony, it was supposed to be a ceremony to give them Aadhaar cards or, you know, BPL cards and things like that and they didn't know what was happening. It is only falsely stated and uh, implicated by those political parties which are doing politics on the basis of religion. Congress, Sapa, Baspa, they all are doing politics BJP on the basis of religion. All the parties, include the, including the BJP, you are talking about? Uh, I am not uh, talking about BJP in this uh, incident, but uh, the political parties uh, which are based on doing uh, religion-based politics and uh, mandatory appeasement, these parties are highlighting these issues and actually these incidents are homecoming of Hindus. It's a homecoming of Hindus. Kamal Faruqi, is that the way you look at it? Homecoming of Hindus, Gar Wapasi, as they call it. Uh, and it is reconversion and not actually conversion. It's a very absolutely uh, new uh, terminology which are, they are using. Uh, homecoming, I do not know which home and when home and what home. Uh, but uh, the fact is very clear that it's a conversion, 
Now, the fa uh, uh, as far as the conversion is concerned, that's a uh, that's absolutely no issue because Constitution provides under uh, Article 25 uh, freedom to have any religion of your choice. But the only uh, issue comes over here when it is the allurement fraudulently doing, doing like this under coercion or with a price or for some consideration. If all these things are being done, then definitely it's a questionable thing. Now, as far as Agra episode is concerned, Agra episode has been uh, amply cleared now by uh, thanks to the media itself that even the interviews from the individuals who were so-called uh, converted when it was asked, they were shown that uh, the uh, they were offered the Aadhaar card or Russian card or some consideration for the, the houses and whatnot, all these things on record. Now, the, they may say, uh, my brother say that um, uh, no, it, it's, a, it's, a, uh, it's again a, a political gimmick. But no, but today itself, uh, again, the media has done a wonderful job by exposing a letter wherein uh, they, these people who uh, are uh, were trying to uh, convert, in fact, or the homecoming, as my brother is saying, uh, in fact, um, the, they are fooling the entire Hindu community as well. Why? Because they are showing that these are the kind of expenditure which we are making, huge expenditure which they are making, and they are showing that um, uh, they, they are being converted just to uh, 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 bring in a kind of false pride among the Hindu brethren, as if a lot of people are coming. And now they are saying that even the uh, on 25th, which is a very auspicious day uh, for the Christians, uh, they are saying that we will be converting again in Aligarh. All these things, I personally feel, uh, one, that they want to bring in the, uh, the entire issue in a very, very emotional manner so that the country is divided on the communal lines. Okay. And the entire agenda is, uh, 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 is changed in that. So basically, I personally feel it's, a, uh, it's, a, it's a, uh, 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 diverting the attention of the people from the main issues to these issues. In fact, in fact it's, are, quite, it's quite ironic that Balashankar also says it's a, it's a diversion, diversionary tactic. You're also saying it's a diversionary tactic. Where what happens to people who get involved in this? <laughs> Let me get uh, Professor Pushpesh, Pushpesh Pant. Uh, Professor Pant, are you there? Yes, I'm very much there. Sir. Okay, uh, Professor Pant, how do you look at this? Is it, is it religious diversion? You know, ghar wapasi. This is a reconversion. This is they are just homecoming. This is not. This is not conversions. No, Girish, I think let's get it straight. It is certainly not homecoming. And I, as a person who was born a Hindu and is not a believer anymore, I think it is absurd to have somebody converted or reconverted into Hinduism. I don't think that Hinduism is a religion at all. I think there is Sanatan Dharma, there is a Vedic religion, there is a Bhagavad religion. And a Hindu doesn't convert anybody, doesn't get convert, reconvert anybody. So I think I find this wholly ridiculous. And I think Kamal Faruqi Saab put it very well when he said, the constitution allows us a fundamental right as citizens of this country to practice a religion or a faith of our choice. Now, if I'm born a Hindu and want to practice Christianity or Islam or Sikhism or Judaism or Buddhism, I have to be converted. The whole point Mr. Faruqi very clearly made was uh, that if the conversion is due to some threat, allurement, seduction, uh, then it is patently illegal and should be penalized. Where I have a difference of opinion with Mr. Faruqi is, he is a learned advocate. The media reports do not prove a thing at all. I could argue as a devil's advocate that the UP government is acting as an agent provocateur to destabilize the central government. And they have done enough of this kind, uh, baiting of Hindus deliberately, and some Hindus fall for it. I think there have been conversions. And there have been retaliations by lunatic fringe of the Hindu community. I think the case of the Graham Stain's murder in Orissa is a shame, which all Hindus should hang their head in shame. What happened in Dang in Gujarat earlier, what happened in Premnagar near Ghaziabad a couple of decades back. I think they are a blot on the face of a secular India. And all Hindus who take pride in their Catholic eclectic heritage. But I do think that what the Home Minister said, it is a matter which has, if it is a matter of infringement of law, which falls under the domain of the state government of UP, let the court of law prove who the guilty was and punish them harshly. And let there be no repetitions of this kind of uh, nonsense. Okay. Uh, John? Sir. John, you know, the, the, the debate is now about, the, the, the present issue is now about Muslims being converted into Hindus or reconverted or homecoming or whatever you call it. There is a larger, there is a, in, the, in the debate on conversions, Christians are, are you know, seen as, a, as, as, as somebody, the missionaries who have been converting people in this country. You know. So 
we will have to if we, if we expand this debate we'll have to look at that issue also surely and you must it is a larger issue and eventually i suppose it covers all religions so which are not as pushpesh my friend says which do not belong to what the supreme court has said the hindu way of life because it's hinduism is not a religion it's a way of life and that has been held and declared many times over but let me put it this way where does the constitution get its statement that a man has the freedom of faith because faith is among the few things that a man can change the faith and the nationality nris throw away the indian passport and the indian nationality and become americans and become british and become germans and south africans and one man could and all indian christians every single one of them has to be a convert because jesus was born 2014 years ago and india existed longer than that so christianity is after jesus right. as much as islam is after the prophet's birth and as much as sikhism is after uh, guru nanak sahib i was asked the dalai lama the buddha was born in nepal died in india you were born in tibet how did you become a buddhist if not by conversion surely that is a fact of life but the constitution says when it's very basic statement freedom of faith and the united nations says freedom of faith is fundamental to all human rights but with a proviso that it should not create a law and order problem which it is doing now in up and it should not be creating a health hazard for the larger people so you obviously cannot do very many things you cannot allow dead bodies to rot on the road saying that it is my religious practice so within those bounds but the issue is the issue is is it a man's internal desire in search of the ultimate truth is it a freedom of conscience that he can renounce this is also you understand freedom of faith includes the freedom not to have a not faith exactly that is very very important and then to change your faith that is also integral to the point so the question here is uh, john the question here is about allurement precisely the so let's here, here here is about you know maybe threat also no but these are terms defined in the criminal procedure code defined in the ipc what is an allurement is a word allurement is a word it does not translate very easily into uh, other languages but these are terms that have been defined by law let those laws prevail if there is any inducement if there is any coercion that man must be punished and speaking as a christian conversion to christianity by anybody who has been given money or has been coerced is not a valid conversion to christianity the church doesn't accept it as a conversion bala now let let me look at the, this issue in a larger way one of the one of the charges or one of the observations or comments being made now is that ever since the new government has come in these forces have become more active they have you know lot of the loud jihad this one this conversions you see a you no know, there there seems to be a pattern to this thing because even 15 years ago when we saw the same kind of pattern the same kind of pattern seems to be repeating now and you know what is the role of the bjp in ensuring that these kind of bjp and the government also in ensuring that these kind of situations don't arise no in fact there is a pattern and do you agree that there is a this kind of situations leads to social disharmony no see all this kind of propaganda there there is a pattern in the propaganda before the election also there was a very conscious effort to create a religious division to create a, a, a kind of fear psychosis among the minorities that did not work so now again after the government has come because the government has not done anything against any particular community in fact there is not a single instance in which the government acted in any partisan manner the government has been performing as a national government it has been giving every opportunity for every section of the society and it has been taking special care in fact for example there was a time when bjp was opposed to a separate ministry for minorities the bjp did not scrap it there was a there is a commission which was constituted by the upa which was a minority education commission we were opposed to it but we did not scrap it so we have been very conscious for the fact that uh, we should not give any indication any kind of uh, action by which minorities or any section in the society feel alienated so there is a government that government is very consciously thinking so that the, the 
You are no, saying our, that, that no, our agenda no... was very clearly right. that this is one country, one people, and the people should get all kind of opportunity under the constitution of India. Yes, John. Now, so let me make three very brief points yes. because here yeah, I'm not. I don't have a word against Mr. Modi. He is the Prime Minister. He was elected on a and given a mandate for development. But let me see. The ideological Sangha Parivar seems to have seen it also as a mandate for their theology. India is not a theocratic state, and they have seen it as a mandate for their acts. And this brings me to the problem of where does the state come in? Mr. Modi has not spoken. He must speak, and he must not talk of moratoriums. He must talk of zero tolerance. Point two. When you say, when you're fact, sort of, it's a moment, please, a, mo a, mo a moment, please. When he, when these people talk about, if you become a Hindu, we will give you the BPL card. The BPL card is for the state to give, not for a group to give, not for a religious group to give. So you, they are implying a certain state impunity, at least, or else a state involvement. And that is totally ultra-virus of the Constitution. I think it is for the central government, and particularly for Mr. Modi, to speak out against it. His yes. silence is fatal. Silence. No, this, is, this is also another problem, Bala. No, silence fact, is... In fact, there has not been any silence because Narendra Modi has spoken out at least on three particular occasions whenever there was an issue like this. This is one aspect. The second is, as my earlier debater was saying, this is an issue for the state government. It can be tackled at the Uttar Pradesh level. Why it has come to the Lok Sabha and Raj Sabha and create a big pandemonium here? This is not the first so time. This, this is not the first time anywhere <coughs> that these kind of issues have come no, at the national the level. The UP government is seen. trying to keep the focus away from its non-government. You think you, 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 you it with UP? So it has got to do with Chhattisgarh, where there have been conversions. It's got to do with Madhya Pradesh, where there have been conversions in recent months. So it, it is not just. It is not just in UP. Uh, Munna, Munna ji, yeah. the question is this, that what uh, John is talking about, that there is a mandate for the BJP, and but the affiliated organizations, the organizations which profess to be close to its ideology or the ideology the RSS, they seem to think that it is a mandate for them. And all these things are happening because, of the, because you think that there is a mandate by the people. Is that the way you people look at it? In fact, uh, India is a, a Hindu nation. 85% of population are from Hindu community. Rest 15% uh, people, which uh, constitutes uh, Muslims, Christians, they so, all are converted Hindus. If uh, they want to uh, come to their old religion, they want to do homecoming, they want to do gharbapsi, then uh, we will welcome them. No, no, the question is this, you welcome them, but the question is this, that when Say in the last 10 years when the UPA government was there, we didn't see so much activity on this front. Yes. Now suddenly why this, this pertinent activity? Is it because you think that the people's mandate is with you? Because the BJP has one power, it, is a, it has one power on its own. So you think that, you know, you, you're, you Hindu Mahasabha, whether it's Hindu Mahasabha or RSS or VHP or Bajrangdal, do you think that it's a mandate, it's a social mandate also? These are not uh, sudden work. We all do regular work and uh, in, uh, when uh, there was government of UPA, then this type of program were uh, continuously. So this is not a new thing? Uh, this is not a uh, oh, new it. issue. <laughs> this is not a new thing? These are not uh, new incidents. Okay. Professor, Professor Pant, Professor Pant, you know, do you subscribe I, to what, I, I, I you subscribe you know, to I, what John said? I that find this whole discussion rather amusing. Yes. No, no, I, I, I subscribe entirely to what John says. My good friend John has put it very well. I think uh, in this country we cannot go around brandishing and broadening our breasts and say that we belong to a Hindu nation. We belong to a secular democratic republic which happens to be a country where majority of people profess Hindu faith but it doesn't mean that everybody has to be converted or reconverted. I think John made a very interesting point that the law is very clear on this and it is the responsibility not of the central government but of the state government to see to it and show the backbone Mr. to punish no, these Pan, but Pan, Pan, my question the government is, in UP I can't speak for Chhattisgarh and the rest mm -hmm. which, which John mm -hmm. very carefully and rightly mentioned but in UP there has been deliberate provocation and there has been agent provocators trying to deflect attention from the misgovernance and the Gunda Raj Professor in Pan, UP so no, I'm no, afraid Professor Pan, the UP second. government should own up to its responsibility of law no, and order and punish no Professor Pan uh, is, is it just a, you, 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 do you look at this as an issue which is confined to Uttar Pradesh or 
or as John pointed out that no 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 that, 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 one second sir one second let me finish the question at the point point no, no, one, let, let me finish the beauty. question let me finish the question sir or is yes, is, yes. is it the atmosphere which has which has been created after the uh, you know as John John says that after the uh, BJP government has come to power there is a certain atmosphere which has been created and these organizations uh, 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 think uh, uh, that it's a mandate for them for sir I'm Sir, I said I am in 100% agreement with my good friend John Dayal. I think I don't have a word against Mr. Modi, but I think Mr. Modi should speak up and shut these people up, which give him and the government a bad name. The mandate was for Mr. Narendra Modi, not for the undivided Sangh Parivar. And I think we live in a day and an age where the Sangh Parivar also is changing, and only the vestiges of the old leadership cling on to this belief that they can get away with what their agenda is. I think the agenda is development, as Bala said rightly. I couldn't agree with Bala more either. But I think if it is a question of law and order, why I am focusing on UP is that at the moment we are on the short point of Agra. When we are talking no, no, about Agra, let's hold Raman Singh to, uh, no, no, uh, to, uh, to uh, Agra, Agra is Agra is just a. Uh, if it is a matter of we should hold uh, Shivraj Singh to account. Okay, uh, Mr. Mr. Faruqi, Mr. Faruqi, you know you have been, you know Uttar Pradesh, you have been, you know, you come from there. The the question is, is it is it that the the state governments, what about the state government's role in this entire thing as far as Agra is concerned, but it's also a larger issue as John Agra rightly pointed out, absolutely. you know, it's it's happening in many other states. Girish, there, absolutely there is no uh, doubt about it. I fully agree with uh, Mr. Pant and uh, Mr. Bala also. But uh, what Mr. Pant is saying, absolutely right. This is the prime responsibility of the state because law and order is with the state. How come the, uh, they perform all these things uh, uh, and how come the uh, entire intelligence field how come uh, they have not been in a position to take any action against all those people who are uh, saying all those kind of things in the open? I, said the, uh, the, I would not name the people in fact because that would not be correct. But we have got the people in fact who have been showing all those kind of things on record itself. And they have, uh, uh, they, they have distributed, as I said earlier, that they are trying to fool even my Hindu friends in fact. That we have, spent, we have done so much, we are spending so much and we are uh, taking all those kind of things. And I agree with Mr. Bala also that uh, yes, these, the, all these issues... Uh, uh, are being a divert, uh, diverting attention in fact. But who is doing it? In UP, yes, uh, uh, um, Lam Singh Ji would be responsible as the president. But what about the member of parliament who day in, day out, even today, I would not like to name the uh, gentleman in fact, he raised a kind of issue which will, uh, uh, which will uh, put up a, uh, the entire country on fire, uh, 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 giving a kind of uh, um, uh, celebrating the birth anniversary as a uh, pride of the nation of a person who uh, murdered uh, Bapu in fact and the MPs uh, jolly well roaming around. So all these people in fact are trying to divert the attention of the nation from the main issues, the issues of poverty, issues of back, backwardness, issues of the blackmailing, issues of the, the um, um, development, all those issues in fact. And I totally, uh, uh, most respectfully, I disagree with Munna at all. Forget about that. As long as this constitution is concerned, you will not uh, 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 be in a position to achieve this because we have got a constitution which tells us it's a secular country. <laughs> okay. It is not a Hindu country. Please uh, stop uh, saying all those kind of things. You may fool yourself or you may fool some of the uh, uh, people from the Hindu Mahasabha or some element in the RSS also. But you cannot fool the entire nation. Bala. Yeah. Bala, the question is this. You know, you, you are saying that it, it, is a, it, is, it is an effort by some, some political forces to divert the issue from... But would you agree that it is not, it's not, that this game is not being played by one side, it is being played by both the sides? No, I would say he, that here whoever, is, here is, he says that it, this is a Hindu nation, 75% of the people are here are Hindus, so the rest 15% have been converted, let them come back to the Hindu faith. See, uh, India, isn't, India, isn't this divisive? India is India and India is a very unique nation. And I would always say that uh, anybody who is trying to divert the attention from development agenda or what Mr. Narendra Modi is doing, he is doing a great work. And I, I think that he should be given all no, what, what about What all about support. John, Dal and uh, or all, uh, all the other panelists saying that Mr. Narendra Modi, Mr. Narendra Modi should speak out? Why is he not speaking no, out against this? To the best of my understanding of Hinduism, Hinduism doesn't believe in any kind of conversion. Because everybody who is born is a Hindu. It is only after conversion yes. somebody becomes Absolutely. a Muslim or a Christian. Absolutely. But as far as Hindu is concerned, so Hinduism doesn't believe in any kind of work, conversion or any of these things. And as far as we are concerned, this country is one and people are one and only one citizen is here. 
and we want development and uh, if you have to fight narendra modi has said if you fight you fight for against poverty not against our, ourselves and uh, why are we trying to create any situation which is vitiating the atmosphere why are we uh, munna ji why are we trying to create he says that doing it no, no, who is doing it why not me push it stop it no i would say whoever is doing it bala shankar who is doing it to stop them na cell. he says that you know conversion doesn't as far as hindu hinduism is concerned there is no question of conversion if, doesn't happen if there are forced conversion or conversion why is it wasn't this a case of forced then conversion then it is banned and it is illegal but the, when people are coming to their uh, old religion they are uh, uh, home coming then what is wrong but he says that you the, know, the he says that of, the, as far as hinduism is concerned to, the, what no, will a state government do the people are coming to hindu community by their own choice then what uh, up government will do the people of india has voted to power to narendra modi government for development as well as hindutva issue not only for development congress has also done the development sir pantan bala have to respond to it we uh, need not to talk about it let them let them answer the people, people of like india them. voted to narendra modi government yes. yes. let me so this is no, mr bala talk no, this about this is it. not no this is not a this is not a this is not a light thing even he, th- what he is talking is see, what he is saying is something which is in the minds of a lot of people in this country that this government no. has been elected pe- for pe- development and also for hindutva yeah. yeah people elected this government for a strong india a prosperous india a happy india and it is a peaceful india and that is why people voted yes, I, i don't think there uh, was any John, religion quickly, or, uh, i wanted to make a statement of faith because several statements of faith have been made for me as a practicing christian in due course of time after i have served the world usefully there will be a home coming for me i shall go home it's in heaven but i cannot even foresee a dream of an india which will be a hindu rashtra okay. as much as as much as pakistan is an islamic rashtra or saudi arabia is it cannot okay. be my, my, professor pant professor pant how how do you react to munna sharma munna sharma's claim is this election you know the narendra modi government has been uh, I, elected for I, I, development and munna sharma is the only odd man out in this evening's panel discussion No I do, I don't think that uh, anybody believes that Mr Modi won because of Hindutva Mr Modi carefully avoided mentioning the Ram temple throughout his campaigns and I think much to his credit he talked only of development and I only hope and this again is a statement of faith as my friend John says that uh, the Hindu uh, Rashtra concept does not come to haunt us in my lifetime at least and not in my children's and grandchildren's i would love to live in a secular democratic india where hindus are pr- proud but so are the rest who I mean, don't have to go that. back to their old the original Modi religion the government If has been given to power well. for development as well as protection of hindus protection of, of cows of course not it is for protection my of protection cows. yes it is construction construction of the to construction of protection of, of john dayal the christian They will vote for all these Hindu types, and if they will not work, if they will not commit, hundred twenty-five crore, sir. They will have the power. Not Hindus, not Muslim. Kamal Farooq is also being protected by Prime Minister. Okay, sir. I think John Dayal is also protected by Prime Minister. Okay, sir. I think I think on that note we need to end. We completely run out of time, but it 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 is it is it is evident that this is an issue which is it is sensitive, which has different dimensions to it, and. what has happened in agra is certainly a, a thing which needs to be as everybody says that handled by the state government but this is a larger issue which will which will need to be which will need to be tackled by everyone not just by the government itself thanks to all my guests prof pushpesh pant john dayal bala shankar munna sharma thank and you. kamal farooqi please keep watching we'll come back with another issue the big picture same time tomorrow thank you